Saturday, the 20th of July, 2024, of the 15th week in Ordinary Time is the optional memorial of St. Apollinaris, Bishop and Martyr. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant unto me, above all things to be desired, that I may rest in you, and that my heart may be at peace in you. You are the true peace of the heart. You are its only rest. Out of you, all things are hard and restless. In this peace, in the self same, that is, in you, the one sovereign eternal good, I will sleep and take my rest. Amen. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, your love and mercy knows no bounds. Give me strength when I am weak, hope when I am discouraged, peace when I am troubled, consolation when I am sad, and understanding when I am perplexed. Make me an instrument of your love and peace to those who are troubled and without hope. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Saint Apollinaris Apollinaris is remembered in tradition as the heroic first bishop of Ravenna. He suffered repeated brutal beatings in his effort to evangelize the Emilia Romagna region of Italy. He was martyred sometime in the first or second century. On Apollinaris, a later Bishop of Ravenna, Saint Bishop Chrysologa taught, To die only once is very little for those who can gloriously conquer the enemy more often for their king. Loyalty and devotion, more than death, make the martyr. Just as falling on the battlefield for love of the king is proof of valor, so too is sustaining the battle at length and bringing it to a close proof of perfect virtue. The Epistle They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning light they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat an owner of his house, a man of his inheritance. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this race an evil from which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. On that day a satire shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete, our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out, and no one can get them back. Thus you shall have no one to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 10 Responsorial Verse Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? 
proudly the wicked harass the afflicted, who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. For the wicked man glories in his greed, and the covetous blasphemes sets the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts, he will not revenge it, there is no God, sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile, and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush near the villages. In hiding he murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon the unfortunate. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow, taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless, you are the helper. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel He warned them not to make him known to fulfill what had been spoken. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, verse 14. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus. Matthew chapter 12 verse 14 The Pharisees in today's gospel were clearly disturbed by what they had just witnessed. Jesus had performed a healing on the Sabbath by restoring a man's withered hand. Matthew chapter 12 verse 10 And this wasn't the first time Jesus had transgressed the Sabbath restrictions either. As far as they were concerned, Jesus was a rabble-rouser and a blasphemer, and so they took counsel against him. Matthew chapter 12 verse 14 How sad that these men misunderstood so much about Jesus. They couldn't see that he was the long-awaited Messiah, God's beloved in whom I delight. Matthew chapter 12 verse 18 And they didn't understand what his purpose was to save them from their sins. If you're a follower of Jesus, 
you've likely felt misunderstood at times as well. Perhaps family members or friends wonder why you spend so much time in church. Maybe co-workers find it odd that you don't join in the company gossip. Or perhaps an offer to pray with someone is met with rejection. Notice that Jesus didn't allow the Pharisees' plot to deter him from fulfilling what God had called him to do. Matthew chapter 12, verse 17 Despite their suspicions and false accusations, he didn't fight back or try to explain himself. In fact, after healing the man, he simply withdrew from that place and continued to preach and heal. Matthew chapter 12, verse 15. That's a lesson for us whenever we are feeling misunderstood because of our faith. We don't have to rush to explain our actions or defend ourselves. At the same time, we don't want to nurture resentment against the people who might be judging us. Nor should we allow their reactions to keep us from accomplishing the work that God has called us to do. Maybe you can think of a few people in your life who misconstrue or are puzzled by your Christian beliefs or actions. Pray for them today. Ask the Lord to bless them and reveal more of His love and mercy to them. Then pray for yourself, for the courage and perseverance to follow Jesus, whatever the cost. Jesus, help me to accept the uncomfortable feeling of being misunderstood. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or, if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.